Okay. So the concept that we're working up with on this is what I call catch and float. Catch and float. You catch the string and then you float. And so it's, there's a beginning to the note and then something else that happens. And you have lots of different possibilities for catches and lots of different possibilities for floats. It just depends on the kind of sound you want. But the beginning of the note has that catch and then there's a float. You hear that? Okay, just do, let, let's just play a couple of C's. And find the catch. Good, now find a little more float. Right, the float gives it a nice resonance then at the end. As opposed to no float there at all. You know, sometimes we want to sound like that. You know, it depends on the context, but um, it's not as pretty a sound, and so we want to go for a little nicer sound now. Right. Good. Okay. So work with that still uh, for next time, and I'll write down the term. What's the term? Right. Okay, you understand the concept, how it works? So good, all right, so this was...